Turkey has once again become a victim of global climate change. From the fact that the climate is changing, people are dying, the infrastructure of cities is suffering, enormous damage is being done to the budgets of many states. This time, at least one person died and eight others were injured in flooding in the Turkish capital Istanbul. Heavy rain caused flash flooding in the city, street flooding and traffic problems. One death has been reported as a result of flooding in the Esenyurt region. Some people had to leave their homes because of the flood and some took shelters from the rising water on the roof of the buses. Strong winds also damaged building roofs, streets and power lines disrupting power supplies in some areas. In addition, a water tornado was seen in the western region of Istanbul. Water sports are not typical phenomenon in Turkey, they sometimes form in the south, but this is rare for the eastern border. Water and debris poured through the streets and bridges were also damaged after Turkey's street. There was also flooding in the Black Sea provinces of Sinop and Bartim. More than 1,200 people have been evacuated from affected areas in three provinces, some by helicopter and about 850 have been housed in studied residence, the Office of Emergency Management said. The flood damaged power infrastructure, leaving more than 170 villages without electricity, he said. Four bridges collapsed and many others were damaged, leading to road closures. Footage saw the flood dragging dozens of cars and pillars of rubbish through the streets. According to the news agency, heavy rains are expected to ease in the evening in the region. The north of Turkey is prone to flash floods in the summer when the rains are especially heavy. At least five people died in the region last year as a result of flooding. Works on cleaning up the territory and pumping out water continue. Rescuers, public utilities workers, drivers, respectively of Red Crescent are involved in them. The state began to provide financial assistance to the victims.